Alright guys, welcome back to some more Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Still don't know how to get over there. No clue. Maybe there'll be a cannon or something after we do this next mission area. But let's move right along. The tough get going. Wow, that was just instant start. Defeat nine enemies. Alright. Well, we don't have... Ugh, it's another one of those battles where we have to kill nine, but not all nine are on the field. And these guys have 510 HP. Like, this is starting to get really, really hard to do. Alright, I don't have the ability, it looks like, to chain myself. Uh, one, two. Uh, lock. One, two, three, four, four. Five, six, seven, eight. No, no one has nine pike movement. I think the best I have is less. Well, actually, I could get Mario land there, and then these two guys could get shot immediately. All right, let's do that. We're gonna get rid of Luigi. Um, hmm. Go rabid Luigi for this one, maybe. We haven't used Rabbit Luigi in a while, which means I think we need to get him a better weapon. Oh, no, we already need to get him that one that's better. Uh, we haven't got him a good rocket launcher, though. Yeah, that's a significant increase. We'll get him the gold rocket launcher. Ooh, that is a uh, pretty good buff for... that's up against peekaboos. Like, I don't think we're going to have more peekaboos. Hmm. We'll hold off until we use Peach next time. Also, we have more skill points, but none of these really seem to do... That'll get a little bit more power on my gun. Rapid Luigi... Gets more damage from high ground, I guess. And... Rapid Mario... Can get Bodyguard back faster. I guess that works. I don't want to really re-optimize their entire skill trees, so we'll do that. Alright, this guy we don't even have to worry about, because he has no mobility to get anywhere he needs to go. So we can leave him around and just pick on him as we go. So I think I probably want to actually change out my Luigi for the rabid version. There we go. Um, let us... Ah! So what do we have immediately popping up? Lava Smashers. Okay. So we're gonna have a lot of Smashers, which is actually gonna be really good. I want to leave Rabid Mario within range of this pipe back down, because he's going to slaughter. This guy's gonna come down this pipe, and then these guys are gonna join, and they're all gonna be in one clustered area next turn. It also means I don't want to use Mario's Super Sight if he has sighted these guys down here, but he probably won't. Okay, I can hit that Rabbit Hopper from here. Can't see him from here. Can't see him from here. Alright, and Mario will be able to reach from here, so no worries there. Grab it, Luigi. I don't want to move Rabbit Luigi up too far. One, two. Alright, let's go. One, two, three, four.
So I move Rabbit Luigi here, he can't be killed this turn. Okay. Or here. This would be fine. Yep, we'll do that. Alright. 160 damage dash there. And now Mario can get a dash in here. This guy's down to 120, so he's now vulnerable to die. Damn, I was hoping I'd be able to super jump a little bit farther. Okay, first off, let's get... Alright, how far can Mario move? Can Mar... Or I can misclick. Alright, we're just restarting the chapter. I'm not doing a damn misclick issue again. I hate having to deal with those. I was just trying to make sure Rabbit Mar or Mario could move if the other guy was doing the... Uh... If he ran up the pipe, or ran towards Luigi, like, if he could make it, and he can. Alright, we got everybody. Okay, so Rabbit Mario, or Mario would have been able to, yes, he would have been able to handle any spot over there. Alright. And we're actually going to sit out in the open here, because that might mean... Actually, no, wait, because Mario can only go... Ah, that's the reason why I put him there. Okay. Because that allows him to shoot the guy up top and still stay out of the Smasher's range. And then Rabid Luigi can siphon. Sit back over here, out of the way. Hit this guy. Ooh, that did burn him, though. That moves him a bit. Shit. That actually... Oh, no, because he moves himself back. Okay, that's good. I was going to say, that actually would have messed up my uh, whole plan. And that puts Mario here. We get flanks on both of them. And we can put our super sight on. So that way, when either of these two move, we should be able to pretty much kill one of them next turn. Yep, I can no longer attract that guy this turn, but that's fine. I'll keep that attract around. We don't really need immunity to super effects or anything. You know, let's pop it on. We, we have it recharging faster. Just to make sure he doesn't get moved out of the range he needs to go. And we'll go enemy turn. So we got one enemy dead. Yep, that's going to waste one of my shots. But the bounce did trigger. There's my other shot. So that just screwed up his entire turn of movement. This guy's going to... Alright, just flank shot me. That's fine. I can kill that guy with a dash. Or not. This guy comes down the pipe, gathers up with his two friends. Which all stay within pretty much explosion radius of each other. Alright, so we'll do Rabbit Mario first. Oh. Um. Damn. Hmm. 
That could be a lot of damage this turn. We could do 250 or to 275 with the hammer. Who do we have popping up here? More lava smashers. These guys up here, more lava smashers, so we do not want Mario sitting up top here. Or at least within range of the pipes. Ugh. This is very vexing. Hmm. I almost want to take a shot at this guy down there, if I can hit him with anybody. Can I get my rocket that far back? No. Just to get them clustered a little bit more. Kill this guy. Oh, I can get a rocket shot on that guy from here. So let's do that. Use the rocket to take off the over shield and break up a lot of their cover. Mario can kill that guy with the dash. Smashers are going to go one, two, three, four. So we'll actually be in cover here. And then these Smashers. get that far, so we'll be in cover if we go back here. Alternatively, we can run in, smash them a bit this turn. Alright, let's see. The farthest one... This guy... Can't reach me if I'm in that back four square. Back four, back three square. All right, that's where it's safe. All right. So we'll get, we'll go a little bit aggressive on Rabbit Mario this turn. Get two dashes off, and then should be safe here. Hold on, Tacticam. Yes, we are safe in this corner. All right, we can finish these other three guys off next turn. Mario's got his kills, everyone's skills are recharging, enemy turn time. I just realized that one corner guy might actually be able to pop up and reach me if he takes the pipe. Oh, maybe not. He's one short. Yeah, he's one short of the pipe. Okay, cool. Yeah, you waste your ability on a turn you guys can't reach me, because I was paying attention counting spaces. Okay, that area is going to get dangerous. Alright, we need f six more kills. Alright. Hmm. 
then we go here to end it. Everyone is weak enough that now the hammer will do three kills. Bam! Nicely done. All right, Rabid Luigi goes up in the pipe. Let's verify that these guys can't reach the pipe. I think they're one, two, three, four. Yep, they're one square too short. So we'll put vampirism, vampirism. And sit ourselves away from that pipe. Might not actually be able to kill all these guys this turn. We'll have to see. We'll add up the numbers. In any case, I'm protecting myself from those two guys coming up that pipe next turn. Then Mario can get a slide on one, team jump, a bounce on the other, and he sits back here. One, two, three, four. Wait, hold on. This guy can reach... Okay, he can't smash the very back corner. Alternatively, I sit here and get a hammer off which does additional damage. But is my hammer explosive? I don't know if it is. But I think that actually might be the better idea, but these guys, okay, where's these guys coming up out of the pipe? This guy is going to make it there, so he can't actually smash me if I'm sitting there. All right, cool. So we... Sm or we dash into this guy. Stomp. Land back here. Gets me a little bit of heals. That will kill one, but not the other. Unless... We boost our weapon damage for the turn. And kill them both. Nice! Alright, we got this figured out. Um, and we don't need to do that this turn. Can't get any shots off, so enemy turn. Alright, sadly, Rabbit Mario is now a turn away from being able to assist every- oh, okay, that one guy decide to turn back. That actually works out okay for us. And we need to get a kill off on how many? One. Alright. So we'll place Rabid Mario. Here. No. Hmm. Okay, so let's focus on just killing that one guy down there, because we can stack everybody's movement skills and whatnot onto him. And just finish him off this turn. Dash off here. Team jump here. Lands us here. Which gets us the super sight. That would hurt 
Mario, so let's not do that. Sit back as far as we can with our shotgun so we don't shoot Mario. But we force this guy to move. Aha, Mario is one square away. And then when this guy moves, Mario finishes him off. Bop. He's gonna move again. If he doesn't die, no, he died. All right, cool. And that's it. We did a little bit too much fiddling around there because a lot of I do not like a lot of smashers. It takes a lot more strategy and you know focus to take care of all of them. Is there a secret rabbit tunnel over here? No. All right. There's just a lot of like I can see a lot of hidden areas on this map. I just can't get to any of them. All right, we got a puzzle. Sombrero Vaquero. Is that cowboy in a sombrero? I think that's what Vaquero is. All right, we have a blue button. Oh, that just raises up a magic chest. Okay. Sure then. Ten power cells, or orbs, or whatever the hell they are. Oh, we can't slide that down yet. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of these areas may be locked behind the drill ability for now. Well, that sucks a little bit. Oh, but what's in this one? Nothing. Damn. Wait, is that a DK barrel down there? Nope, they're just regular barrels. I figured they try to hide, like, other references and stuff and things, but... Nope. Looks like our progress is blocked. Hmm, the colored pedestals appear to each match a different platform. Pedestals are generally made to put things on... Wow. Like, no, we, we haven't done any of these puzzles so far. You know, we would never know what we're supposed to do right now. Calic Crackers! Someone's feeding this Chain Chomp rabbit-shaped cookies. It's gonna think they all taste like shortbread now. <laughs> okay, so we can get up this ramp. What? Why can't we get... Oh! Alright, this puts us over here, which gets us our first statue. Alright. That lowers that, but blocks off that pipe, which just keeps us from falling off into nothingness. Alright, so that's going to be our goal, is to final finally do that, but we need to do the other ones first. We can't do the green one from up here yet. So, our goal is to do the blue one? No, the red one first. Because that'll get us the next statue. Or not. Or maybe. Yes. And gets us a new tunnel. Which puts us here. Okay. Now we slide the green one along. Which we can still utilize the green... No, we can't utilize the green ramp from up here. We can from down there. So we have to go down. Okay, so the whole point of the red one... Okay, I get it, I get it. The whole point of the red button was to get us back up there to the green one. Now... We're able to put things on the other pedestals. We'll do blue, because that'll drop the mushroom down for us. Go grab the mushroom, which we didn't really need the heals from, because we managed our health quite well during the last mission. And now we have one more pedestal we can use. So we put the red one on. 
which lets us get up top and take the green one off. Because now we can put the yellow one on from this side. Which lowers that down, and now we're out. Alright. I like these puzzles. They're a little bit, you know, just do the only thing you possibly can at the moment to solve sometimes, but, you know, they're kind of fun. Oh, oh, not the bucklers. Oh, these guys are going to suck. All right. Well, I think we have the right team for them. Oh, it's a reach area, however. All right. Why is this reach area looking like it's a lot harder than it should be? Lava Peekaboo. Oh, well, I guess that that ability, or that weapon that does more things to Peekaboos is totally valid because these are lava ones now. Doesn't make sense having lava ghosts, but sure. Oh my god, this is a shield ball from hell. Um, well then. I think we might have a better... Ooh, those are ink boom shots. Okay. I think one of our better abilities here would be to have Rabid Peach instead of Rabid Luigi. No, Rabid Luigi can guarantee not getting super effect. Rabid Mario might actually not help here, so let's go Rabid Luigi and... Oh. Luigi? <laughs> but we'll hold back a turn or two on getting all the way down there. Alright, skill tree, Luigi, we now need you to be revamped. So your team jump range is not going to be as important. Oops, that's the wrong thing. But your ability to quickly and frequently boost us long range with your run is now valued. We don't need pipe movement. Because there's no pipes on this map. Let's get the cleansing jump. Let's max out your steely stare abilities. Put two levels into that. Boost that up, and... Yeah, I think that's good. Rabid Luigi. We got your barrier maxed out, so that's just fine. We don't have enough points to get you that, so we'll just put some more into there. Alright. Actually, does, Marvin, or does regular Mario get any bonuses? No, he can't unlock anything. All right, cool. All right, let's do this. So, Rabbit Luigi for... Oh, actually, first. Mar uh, Luigi. Three extra cells movement to start a round off. Which means we can get two vampire dashes in. Now, how far can Mario go? Okay, so Mario can reach that, which would give us cover from those guys. All right. One vampire dash, two vampire dash, and we'll sit here. Now, Luigi can still make it there. Yes, good. Mario will get a dash on this guy, jump off of this guy, land on this guy. And then now we need protection from the peekaboos. Let's actually hang on this side. Eh, let's hang on this side, yeah. Probably should have... No, no, I want the Steely Stare. Or the, uh, the Super Glance, so I don't want to give Weapon Plus to everybody. 
So we want to land here. Man, that extra movement makes a huge difference on maps like these. And Luigi, you can do next to no damage here. Wow, 20 damage. Truly, truly inspiring. But you can team jump off of here. Team jump off of here. Get yourself behind cover here. And that sits us, ooh, that's uh... If I do that, I'm going to take some damage from my little cart thing. And that also leaves us open to those guys. This guy has... how much range? It's four squares movement, and his boom shot is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means... One, two, three, four. So if we sit here, we actually cannot be shot by that guy. We could sit here, but that puts us in range of those two. One, two, three, four. Actually, here is safe. All right, cool. Luigi's gonna take some hits this turn, but... Wow, that is expanded blast radius. I was unaware of that. Alright. So, Rabbit Luigi cannot hurt that guy. Let's do a... Immunity to super effects. Actually, what are the super effects of these guys? Push. Um, yeah, let's uh, do immunity to super effects, because we don't want people coming out of their carefully, pla yeah, carefully placed positions. Mario can kill that guy. Doesn't have a shot on that guy and only 50% chances on them. Hero Sight, which will let me hit the shield guys because they are vulnerable while moving. Wait, that guy is 0% chance to hit? Oh. Forty-five percent chance of fire is the better chance, so we'll fight him. Good, we lit him on fire, which means Mario kills him. So that's one of the peekaboos dead. All right, this has a chance of preventing him from using his weapon, so let's actually do that. We did not get the ink off. Damn. All right, Luigi's gonna get some hurt in here. I got inked. Damn. But he moved. Which means Mario... Oh, God, I forgot they did the dash that did that much. Ow. But he can't reach me with his gun. Oh, and Mario apparently does not have range to hit that guy. I was expecting him to finish him off. All right, well, that's fine. I'm immune to the super effect. And this guy's teleportation doesn't actually trigger Mario's ability. Don't kill Luigi! Alright, that's good. Well then, um... Hmm. Alright, we killed this guy with a vamp dash. And that'll let us take a shot at the ghost. 
Luigi is just hurt. Mm, jeez. Right, this guy just straight up dies. We can put a real hurtin' on this guy. Okay, we want to do... We want to shoot with Luigi first. Okay, we can cleansing jump Luigi, so that's not a huge issue. I actually don't want the push effect to go off. 90% chance to burn that guy. Alright, here's what we do. We clear jump him. Kill this guy. And then we back Mario up to here. All right, he's out of the way. Now that Luigi is safe, can we hit this guy and the ghost this turn? Yes, we can. The spring could be dangerous, so we'll activate the steely stair first. And then we'll see if they get sprung. Yep, they both get bounced, which means we get shots off. But you can do a tiny bit there. Oh, he can't quite reach Mario. And that doesn't actually help me. 0%, 100%. Alright, cool. We can still get... Actually, no. We... We'll save that if need be. Um, Alright, Mario just kills that guy. So... Is there anyone else on the battlefield? No. <laughs> yeah, let's shoot the rocket for fun. And Mario finishes him. All enemies killed. Oh no, there's an enemy way at the very beginning. Oh no, whatever shall we do? We're at the end anyway. Question, can Luigi's extra distance? No. So, Rabbit Luigi's actually just irrelevant for this. Time to play! But we can get to the end zone right now. Um, oh yeah, Rabbit Luigi can actually, or regular Luigi can actually run farther. So we'd be like, oh no, we're so close, but we can't quite make it there. Oh wait. And we win. Three out of seven turns. Although Luigi took a absolute... Okay, Luigi gets all his health back. I was gonna say, Luigi is hurting. We almost lost him. <laughs> oh, wow, even more skill orbs. I don't know what to do with them at this point, honestly. Like, I've been filling in, like, really secondary paths and stuff. Modding a submarine with a drill bit and joy riding it into a volcano happens to rabbits way more often than you think. <laughs> oh, that's great. This will be a whoop, coin spawner. And we'll see what we had to see off that edge right there. My sensor detect they bought a quick pass so they could ride over and over again. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. All right. We have a cool... Yeah, 
Maybe not a puzzle zone. Nope. Straight path into round four. Or world four. In full gear. Alright. What do we got for our battle missions? We have more of these things that we can only do with a drill. We can, however, get this stuff. Even more power orbs. We don't need any more. Wow. Oh, there was a chest in that one. There's just something so relaxing about just smashing just ridiculous numbers of blocks. Alright, that was all it was to that area, but we got two more hidden chests. Ooh, and we got some coins to get us back on track. Which means it's trying to lead us away from over here, which is absolutely nothing. Alright. Why do the blocks look different? Is it just off the different kind of background, or oh, look at all the lava. Okay then. Ooh, that is a lot of enemies. Now here's where the challenge starts. All right, so there is, oh, they've got lava Valkyries now too. Holy shit. All right, this is a lot of kills we have to do. There is some pipe movement. And the enemies tend to be a very cluster. I... And a lot of them are movement-oriented. I'm thinking... This is a job for regular Peach, Rabbit Mario. And let's check the skill tree. Regular Peach has a hundred to spend. Regular Mario has sixty, which... God, I don't even know what to put it on. Even more power up on our weapons, I guess. Not that I use that too, too often, but now it becomes more marginally useful. Um, wow. Alright, we're now immune to all movement damage, or let's get 30% weapon damage protection. Because I don't mind taking a little bit each turn, because Peach can actually help out quite a bit with that. Hmm. A little bit more royal gaze, a little bit less cooldown on the royal gaze, or more protection. Let's go with less cooldown on royal gaze. Now, does... I think Rabbit Mario did get a new weapon, but it's just a new variant and it's better against supporters. Peach has her best equipped, and... Oh, we don't have a better duck, so... This would be nice. Having the extra... Like, either one of these would be good. I like burn more than freeze, because I honestly don't care how if they use their special abilities for the most part, but if I can get them to move into weird areas or out of where they should be, yeah, we'll go with it. It might be useful against the peekaboos. And then regular Mario. I think his hammer needs an upgrade. We're actually where we need to be on a hammer. Is regular Mario's primary up to spec? It is indeed. All right, cool. All right. This guy is irrelevant for the most of the fight. Those guys are fairly irrelevant for most of the fight, so these guys are my goal this turn. Alright, Peach can only get that far. Mario can only get that far. So, Rabbit Mario... ...goes here and then blows out all of those boxes.
Yeah, I can see that happening. Hmm, do I want to attract it, though? Or I can just take the shot here, do a very little damage, but get Vamp on him. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get rid of that guy this turn. So I can't get any shot on anybody but this, so let's take our shot here. And then Mario should have him finished off. If not, Mario and Peach should have him finished off. Oh god. Well, Mario's getting this in the back of the head. Okay, I forgot that Peach has a shotgun. Well then, that could probably not have gone worse. We also revealed that this is a ink box, which means we're going to get hit with ink. Can we cover, heal everybody from here? No. Can we heal everybody from here? No. Mario needs... He took that to the back of the damn head. Oh, that was really bad. Alright, Rabid Mario is just going to have to tolerate it for this turn. Wow. Okay, so picking Peach was actually a bad idea for this mission. And we can shield ourselves here. All right, we can at least finish off the other little guy. Really? We can't kill with what we've got? I mean, there's a 50% chance of killing him. Ah, shit. And she's once again out of position. Okay, we got the crit. Well, that was a very poor way to start that turn. Oh, and then we were on a burn spot because we weren't paying attention. Well, shit. Okay, that's an indestructible pipe, so that's... Oh, God, these guys are now all overwatched. Alright, this might be a turn just to not do anything. Alright, this guy's moving up. Alright, yeah, you protect him. I'm not planning on hitting anybody this turn. Ow. Okay, that was an interesting long use of that, and then you're gonna shoot me. Ow, that's a lot of health. Okay, we did this really, really poorly. Luckily, we do have Peach, so we can get quite a bit of heals done. Now, Rabid Mario can't actually get anywhere super useful this turn. Actually, he can. So the question is, can we bounce Peach up there to help? No. Or at least not from anywhere we're going to be likely to stop this turn. That guy is still irrelevant. We don't give a shit about him. Alright, so Peach is going to protect M Rabid Mario. That 
would heal. That will not heal, so we'll heal to here. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, I just healed up that damage you did to me, and I removed one Overwatch shot. Okay, that guy is not able to be shot by me. We could either dash here, or we could jump off of this guy to land here and get a pound. So I think that's actually not a terrible idea. Yep, that's fine. I can absorb some more damage. Peach can take some more hits for me. Then, Mario can slide dash into this guy, jump off of Rabid Mario. Oh, I can't quite hit that guy. Um, okay, new plan, new plan. We can, is there a fall off spot? No. We can go into the pipe, dash that guy, Yeah, it doesn't really help me any. Okay, so. Rabid Mario is going to explode all of that. Which would kill Mario. So we don't want Mario here. So let's do the damage. And then go for the flank. Or, we can shoot this guy, 50% chance to hit that guy, and then this would actually, yeah, this would put vampirism on both of them. Or, we could attract and pull them both out of cover, but that might mess up my shot, so let's just take the shot. All right, we got the vampirism on. Now we can attract. Nice, because now, slide dash, jump, ground pound, into full cover. Into better full cover? Uh, yes. And because that guy shared the damage... Okay, he apparently did not share all the damage. Oh, the other guy's getting the shared protection damage. That's right. So that'll do a little bit of damage to one and kill that guy. That makes sense. Let's do that. Since we got the crit, even more damage got shared. So we either can do damage to this guy, or finish off the Valkyrie, which I think will finish off the Valkyrie. Alright, that was not too bad of a turn two. Oh shit, is anyone sitting in Pyroplast territory? Alright, we're fine. I think Peach might- oh no, Rabid Mario is definitely in territory. What are you doing, little buddy? Oh no, that's a bounce. Okay, that- that's kinda bad. This guy, once again, still being irrelevant. Okay, that's a lot of hits, and a burn. Put me in cover, oh no. I think Mario's dead. I think we fucked this one up. Don't throw, don't shoot Mario, don't shoot Mario, don't kill Mario, don't kill Mario! Okay. First off, let's verify that nobody is in Overwatch. Okay. We are very weak. We have two shotgunners, so we have to be super careful and not kill somebody with... kill ourselves with them. Okay, so Re uh, Peach is going to need to heal this turn. We can stop here. 
or here. We'll stop here, or we'll jump from there. So that's where we need to go with Rabid Mario. So is it the block, or which one did she land on? Yeah, the broken blocks, okay. So we'll explode these guys with a dash. And then stop back over here. We can dash kill this guy. Or, well, we don't kill him. Can Peach, with her healing, range up to Mario? No. So we need Mario down to get the benefit. Which means we can't get his stomp for bonus damage this turn. But we need the heals, so... Let's get rid of these guys' cover and take the shot. Actually, can Peach get... No, we don't have the grenade with Peach this turn. Hmm. Okay, these are the only ranged guys. If we can kill all of them... Actually... Yeah, this is a better strategy. Shoot this guy first. Mario can get his heals off of these guys, so let's actually just have Peach. How close can she get? She can get here and still provide healing. She can heal herself off of these guys. which inks everybody, and, oh, actually kills both of them, which leaves Mario with no healing, but there's only the one guy who can't actually hurt him this turn. Unless we do something stupid, which I'm going to avoid doing. What I was going to do is, because she was there, I was going to... Actually, I should have probably... Dashed, stomped with Mario first, then helped her? Alright, whatever. Yeah, no one has an attack left. Please don't hit Mario. Okay. Now Mario should have his ability back. I am going to make sure that Peach is now... Mm -hmm in front of Mario. So now her royal gaze isn't going to get him killed. He's got his ability up. She's got her ability up. She's going to instigate. Actually, no, that's a chance to freeze. That has a chance to freeze. So I don't want to use either... Actually, no, freeze doesn't free him in place. So... Let's finish off the last guy. She'll take another shot. Mario will take two. And that's a bounce kill shot. So other than the fact that Mario took a billion damage that turn, holy shit did he take damage that turn, or that round. We're gonna need Rabid Luigi on the next mission just to get Mario back up to stuff. Or find a mushroom or something, because damn, that hurt. I'm hoping we have the opportunity to get some health back. Even the mechanical world, rabbits fail to mesh well with society. <laughs> 
Uh oh. Random conveyor belt. We need a way down, but the pipes aren't connected. Let's see what these switches do. Okay, so it's a rotation puzzle. Oh boy, we've got ourselves a big rotation puzzle. But there is a mushroom. So what I'm going to do is be a little bit tricky because we have the ability in our skill tree to change things around. We now recover 280 HP from mushrooms. All right, let's get these spun around and see if we can figure this puzzle out. All right, both of these bring me to the same spot. Now they don't. Okay, that up engages and disengages that. Okay, that brings us out here. Okay, so we need to turn it more than once. Was the mushroom on that level? No, the mushroom is a little bit farther down. I see it down there. Okay. So we can use this to raise or lower these. If you want lowered first. Gets us over to this side. Then we go back, grab our mushroom, get the big time heals. Oh wow, only Mario gets healed extra by the mushroom. But it was handy in that case, so. He now has a reasonable amount of HP. We'll max out his super stair. Max out the coins. Max out his dash and stomp. Make them cleansing. Give him the movement range. Give him max distance off his stomp jump. And then... 50% more power. We never really need the recharge on that, so that's not huge. And 10% more damage while holding higher ground. Yeah, we might as well burn it on that. No sense having unused skill points. Alright, now we can go back up. Through the pipe. Down to the lower pipe. Was there a chest or something we were missing somewhere on this... Oh, well, I'll go back through and find the chests when I'm hunting for chests. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go back up. Okay, I see what it is. We need to have the L joint connected to the button. I do like how they have the little blocks that prevent you from, you know, killing yourself with the pipes. Then... We 
can go around this way. Then down, and we're in the next area. Alright, since our progress is saved and we have another battle coming up... Wow, we actually got us pretty much back to full HP with that mushroom, so that worked out pretty well. Switching up the skills like that. We'll be back next time, so leave a like if you guys enjoyed, comment down below, and as always, subscribe for more daily Rabbids and Mario Kingdom Battle. Mario and Rabbids, whatever. You know what it is.